high fans of high quality entertainment. Once again, for probably the 20th time or so, you are going to jail for one full year. But luckily, in your prison cell is a stereo system. And so you can take along one of these two stacks of CDs, but you can only pick one stack. And actually, you know what sometimes they do this, you can exchange one CD from the stack you don't want with the stack you have. Like that. Just like that. So here we go. And the only thing I don't like about doing these videos is I have to put back the 24 CDs afterwards. So here we go. I, I, as usual, I tried to make them even, but some, sometimes, lately I think I've been on a good, it's been pretty even the last couple of videos, but sometimes I'm way off trying to get them evened out. So in stack number one, Black Sabbath, volume four. Not my favorite Black Sabbath album of, of the Aussie years. I, I still, I mean, I really like it, but it's like I don't love it like some of their other early albums. But this isn't a review. Queen, the game. Elton John, Tumbleweed Connection. Robert Plant, Carry Fire. Randy Newman, Sail Away. Yes, yes, time and a word. With a naked woman on the cover. Don't look at that. Talking Heads, more songs about buildings and food. I'm, you know, one thing I will say is I wish uh, the Talking Heads discography needs to be remastered and they need like a box set. So I don't know what's going on there, you know, with bonus cuts and all that. Because I'm a big Talking Heads fan. David Bowie, Heroes. Love. Forever Changes. Iggy Pop. Basically, it doesn't say it, but it's kind of his greatest hits. Kinda, it is. Grand Funk Railroad. E Pluribus Funk. My mom was very concerned the very first time I mentioned Grand Funk Railroad. She, she thought I said something else. And finally, kind of a mediocre debut album, but The Doors. I'm just joking. One of the great debut albums. So that's stack number one. You might not even want to see stack number two. Stack number two. And I'll go through them one more time, and I'll decide for me which I would I have no idea. <laughs> Stack number two. Lou Reed's Sally Can't Dance. I uh, ranked and reviewed all of Lou Reed's albums a few months ago. And this moved way up in my rankings. It's actually, you know, I just listened to the critics years ago. Well, it's not very good and all that. And, but it's actually a great Lou Reed album. Roxy Music, Avalon. Peter Gabriel's second album, which is basically known as Scratch. I don't know why. Bruce Springsteen, Born to Run. Bachman Turner, Overdrive, Not Fragile. The band, Music. From Big Pink. Ooh. Speaking of Peter Gabriel, Genesis, Foxtrot. Frank Zappa, Apostrophe. Another great debut album. Really, uh, I feel underrated. It's not known as one of the great debut albums, but it is. Cheap Trick. 
and as there's the greatest hits sort of on uh, stack number one with Iggy Pop, stack two has the greatest hits with the Bee Gees, all the way from Spicks and Specks and New York Mining Disaster, all the way to Staying Alive and Night Fever and You Win Again. Love the Bee Gees. Some heavy stuff. You need some heavy stuff in jail. Motorhead, their final album, Bad Magic. Really good album. And finally, Devo. Question, are we not men? We are Devo. So, let's go through the stacks one more time and I'll decide for myself which one I would take. So stack one has The Doors, E Pluribus Funk, Iggy Pop, Love, David Bowie Heroes, Talking Hits More Songs About Buildings and Food, Yes, Time and a Word, Randy Newman's Sail Away, Robert Plant, Carry Fire, Elton John, Tumbleweed Connection, Queen the Game, and Black Sabbath Volume 4. That's a pretty good stack. Especially with Yes in it. But then Lou Reed, I'm a huge Lou Reed fan. Lou Reed, Sell the Can't Dance, Roxy Music, Avalon, Peter Gabriel Scratch, Bruce Springsteen, Born to Run, Bachman Turner Overdrive, Not Fragile, The Band, Music from Big Pink, Genesis Foxtrot, Frank Zappa, Apostrophe, Cheap Trick, Debut Up, The Bee Gees, Greatest Hits, Motorhead, Bad Magic, and Devo, Question, Are We Not Men? Answer, We Are Devo. <sighs> I'm going to have to go with stack number one. But which one would I take out? It's really none of your business. But I'll let you know. I'd uh, keep Black Sabbath 4 in there because, you know, I might end up loving it. I'm going to take out... Elton John, Tumbleweed Connection. It's, you know, it's a really good album. Don't get me wrong. But I can do without it for a year in jail. And I will include from stack number two so many good choices here. Ugh. It's between Lou Reed, Sally Can't Dance, and Genesis Foxtrot. I gotta go with Lou Reed, because Genesis Foxtrot I know really, really well, and Sally Can't Dance I, I know really well too now, but I mean, I haven't listened to it as much as Foxtrot, so that's how I would change my stack. So I've chosen stack number one. Which stack would you choose? Let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.